Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Enigma, and you're watching Enigma Inc. So I am going to do Libras for 8 to 14 of June. Let's see what are the messages. This is a general reading, so whatever resonates, take it. What does not leave it. For more accuracy, you can book with me on WhatsApp, Instagram, and email. Details are given below. And I also do white prayer based spells for your high score if you're interested in getting the spell done, which is totally a prayer and is totally made in front of the universe okay it's, there's nothing black in it there's nothing binding in it okay i hope you understand this part that there's nothing that we're doing to bind anyone so it's not a spell actually it's a prayer done to the uh, lord and universe so so yeah um other than that i also have other remedies for you and uh, you can check out free horoscopes on my Instagram on daily basis. So follow me on my Instagram for major updates, feedbacks, and crystals. Last but not the least, subscribe to my channel for more videos on your sign. Leaves, please. The Queen of Voices is Queen of Swords, the Lovers reversed, the Sun reversed, the Muse of Inspiration, the Chariot upright, the Queen of Cups upright, wow, the Ace of Voices reversed. Alright, so what I'm seeing over here is that you guys are suddenly out of love right now i'm feeling like there has been a, an ending okay you know that it's for your highest god but it's something that has led you to become a little rude towards love or a little angry or a little you know cold-hearted um or distance okay you've started to maintain distance from people approaching you because you're kind of skeptical these days or you're kind of not very interested in opening up your heart Okay, somewhere you are using your mind over heart. So what I'm seeing is that you don't figure out like there's no such option in front of you for now that can actually strike the chord and make you happy. So you're not feeling that happy with the options coming across. Or for some of you might not be seeing any option coming. Okay, so maybe you dealt with a Leo or a Gemini in the recent past. But what I'm seeing right now is that you've started to focus on your inspiration, something that inspires you, your own goals, your ambition, your career. You're very enthusiastic to follow your goals. Okay, fulfill your wishes, your dreams, your desires. You're focusing on that. All your energy is put to one direction and that is what you want to be, okay? And that is you seeing yourself as um, an upgraded personality, okay? And a better version of yourself. Like you see yourself like that and you're working hard on it. I'm feeling yeah, like this lot of self-love that you're having right now. You're just enjoying life. You're also that you're not following, you know, the society's... Um, um norms okay set norms like do this or do that you're following your heart and you're following your heart and that is why you're moving fast towards your direction towards your life purpose and you're not afraid of showing your true self so you have no questions and i'm feeling like you don't really feel a need to answer any question that people are putting up regarding your career or stuff like what are you doing this or that you're just following your heart you're setting yourself free and you're open to opportunities that come your way so that is your energy right now libras so but when it comes to you know uh someone coming towards you the love you're right now a little um closed off okay maybe not emotionally there and uh, right now not really focusing on love that much okay what you're focusing on right now is yourself your self-love i'm also seeing a cancer person maybe reaching out someone new that is cancer person okay maybe what else Libras? Okay. queen of inspiration reversed And we have nine of emotions 
you're doing completely opposite of what you believe that you can achieve you know something you know in in some line so i'm feeling like uh, you're doing something that uh, inspires you definitely but it's something that you never believed in okay that's the kind of a thing that you're doing and that brings you success and that brings you satisfaction you've understood it so you've gone against your uh, deepest um, knowledge about something and started doing something very different i feel that is giving you a lot of satisfaction and wish fulfilling you know uh results let me see more about love here so who's coming towards my libras in love okay there could be someone interested in your workplace it could be a third party situation as well queen of wands so i got queen of inspiration queen of wands and then we have the eight of wands and then we have the ten of swords oh so what i'm seeing over here is that there's someone that is reaching out to you very strongly okay and may be getting badly rejected by you okay as i told you you're right now focusing on your goals you're focusing on your ambitions you're very passionate about what you want to do next in your life and i'm feeling like you're also taking care of your personal hygiene and health and looks and attractive appearances okay you're very concerned about your appearance right now i'm feeling like there's someone that has been talking a lot about you and you might be knowing that from third parties that this person has been asking about you a lot because they are highly interested i'm feeling like you're going to like um say no to someone okay someone may be coming towards you with a proposal and you might be like okay i'm not interested in you you're not my type or this or that so this may hurt this person a lot okay so i'm feeling like someone might face a rejection <laughs> libra what else for my libra what's coming in love here two of pentacles you do have options here okay you do have options and right now you have no you're not in a hurry okay you can wait you're not in a hurry you can wait for the options to come so that you can take your time and decide like what do you want and which option suits the best for you overall as in long term okay so i'm feeling like you're still waiting for the right person to come in and by that time you are working on your healing process right now you're taking care of yourself i'm also seeing a lot of self love activities that are being done by you that is uplifting your emotional side and i'm also seeing your heart chakra getting balanced i'm also seeing someone from the past may try to reach out and approach you but you'll be rejecting that person completely you're clear about the fact that you're moving forward and there are new opportunities and love opportunities coming towards you i'm also seeing there's a message may be coming from someone completely new at long distance for you three of wands long distance and a message this person that is coming towards you is a big time traveler i'm feeling they're a travel logist or someone who does a lot of camping or is into navy and overseas stuff yeah this person is like a kind of a warrior kind of a person ace of swords so there's a new beginning happening and i'm feeling like uh the one that is coming towards you maybe it'll take one month or one week but i'm feeling like whoever is coming towards you is taking a little bit of time but i'm also seeing with the seven of swords reverse this person is not someone that's going to run away that's going to like uh strike or ignite a fire or spark in you and then run away and make you come after them no this is not that kind of a person very fixated on things they once they have their eye on you they're going to be fixated now feel like this is going to make you super comfortable with this person you're not going to be skeptical about them this is going to make you very comfortable the one that is coming to us going to make you extremely comfortable in their company that is what you like the most things are changing i'm seeing turn of events happening in your life where whatever you've experienced in the past that has been unpleasant is going to turn into something that's pleasant i'm feeling like you're going to attract someone that is extremely pleasant and loving and kind towards you and your luck is also going to change because your mind will work properly because this person is not going to mess with your mental health 
this person is not going to put all the confusions and uh, you know blockages in your mind your mind will be clear and you'll be setting things more in a more organized manner you're going to be planning about your future and i feel like with this person is also going to help you you know focus on your goals in a more productive way then we have the lovers reverse then we have the ten of cups reverse and then we have a seven of pentacles reverse what i'm seeing over here is that right now guys you might be uh, not liking as I told you have options coming in but you're not liking it or you just do not have any option that is uh, talking about marriage that is talking about long term so right now you are having that kind of a feeling like oh my gosh um, you know it's been a long time there is no love there is no option there's no marriage happening but I'm feeling like here the angels are telling you to please wait okay if you just have a little bit of patience you'll see that there are so many options you're being overloaded with and the one that sticks around is going to come soon in your life. I'll see that it's going to be like one week or one month. But definitely this is someone that's going to come towards you with a major offer. Okay. Could be a Gemini or Scorpio Pisces Cancer. Unfortunately, you might be coming across someone who is a more, uh, you know, flirtatious energy. Like player energy who's not, uh, you know, uh, looking for a commitment or a long term for now. And you guys are like, oh my God, how many more to come? Okay, you have that kind of a mindset right now. So here the message for you is that just go with the flow. And whoever comes in, take it as a, a friend, okay? Not take it very seriously because laugh it out, okay? Some things do not, some people do not, uh, you know, uh, match with your vibe. But they can definitely be your friend. So if you just... Uh, you know try to talk or have friendship with people without strings attached that's gonna make life much easier from both the sides and i'm feeling like that's gonna also open the doors to comfortably you know allow love to come into your life so i'm sensing that right now you might not be seeing any option that's asking for marriage but uh, there will be some hidden trials but ultimately you're going to fall into the lap of marriage someone wanting to marry you okay so i'm also seeing like you might have come across some players recently and this disappoints you okay because when there was a time of uh, marriage they didn't face they didn't they ran away yes there was some uh, uh, negative experiences I'm feeling like you were dealing with someone that was uh, on and off that was just there for sexual reasons and uh, you had to walk away from such people okay so this has happened a lot many times with you Libras or recently you've had this kind of an experience maybe from a Capricorn but what I'm feeling like this energy is going to shift with the you know with the wheel of fortune this is all going to change okay Right now, it is asked for you to just love yourself and be more playful and stop expecting things and let it happen naturally. That is a very strong message that I'm uh, seeing over here. I'm also seeing a high possibility of on and off coming back again. Okay, trying to play again. But I'm feeling like here, you're going to completely put someone in a no contact uh, situation. Page of Wands. So... Someone is actually um, uh, coming towards you with passion and is still hung up on you, I'm feeling. But I'm feeling like you're done with this. With the page of wands, with the hangman in reverse, you're no more stuck in this past. You're no more stuck with someone that wants your body and not wants your soul and doesn't want your soul. I'm feeling like you're taking fast steps towards a new beginning. And right now, I'm definitely seeing... Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Wands is like a major love offer coming in from um, these people. Okay, so King of Cups, King of Swords, I'm seeing some options coming in that are good, that are uh, worth, uh, you know, trying. And I'm seeing yes, there's one person that's going to give you uh, the commitment that you're looking for. I'm also seeing marriage happening for you. But yes, there's a new beginning where you will be offered marriage and long-term commitment libra please 
journey so a new journey begins and i'm feeling this person could be from the same community okay from the similar religious background and i'm um, seeing that your expectations are actually now it's time that you're going to meet your expectations things are coming in your favor now this could be a scorpio pisces cancer or a libra gemini aquarius that is keeping a close eye on you or is going to fall in love there's one person that you're going to be waiting to um, allow in your life that's going to fall in love and i'm feeling like there's going to be immense trust between you guys that binds you together so yeah i'm also seeing dating happening like you will be going out with like these two people and you'll have one person that you can strongly trust so it's time to initiate this okay and i'm feeling like there's just one step that is required to come out of that old baggage or old thought patterns to start completely new okay meditate and contemplate so right now it's very important that because you're not meditating it's very important that right now if you want things to come back into balance it is important that you meditate this could be a pisces that's around you but what i'm feeling over here is a very strong message that there's an extra um x factor or there's there's an extra push uh, or you know energy that is required at your end and it comes through practicing such spiritual things perseverance so whatever you want you have to stay fixated on it don't sway from it okay that's a message let's see what are the animals telling you okay this wanted to come out i'll take this as well porcupine and bat time for a beginning mind so you have to start afresh all together that's a very strong message libra so believe it or not for many of you you have to start afresh whatever it is start afresh another one a rebirth is a short so you're going to start afresh you're going to see a big change in you as well i'm feeling like a lot of experience in your life that are coming in your way is going to be very different from what you've experienced till now so it's going to be like a um an adventurous ride from for you you guys so they take that one step that is required okay give your relationship a chance then we have you deserve love heart to heart conversations let go of control issues worth waiting for so what i'm seeing is it is very important for you to be more childlike and take things easy if something doesn't work out never mind you can distract yourself till you find the right person because the one that is coming towards you is going to ask you to open up because you're a little closed off and i feel like there will be a little effort from your end that will be required for you to open up because this person is extremely lovable and this is someone that you were actually waiting for i feel like there's going to be a lot of conversations between each other emotional exchange okay a lot of chatting going on and uh yeah, this is someone that is worth it Libra please Okay round and round not for you okay some of you are going back okay so that is why I was asking you to take that extra you know a step to cross the threshold in order to experience the life that you want So somewhere I'm feeling like Libra is going back to the square one. Like you might be going back to the old partner, or you're actually doing the same thing to attract the new person. So here you need to change certain aspects to actually change your, you know, way. Either you change your pattern of pursuing someone, or you have to let go of the person that you still expect, okay, to come back into your life. So this. needs to go i'm feeling like uh, a tendency to confuse yourself with possibilities like something may work out you know even if you know that this is dead end you still want to try this is going to create a lot of confusion so i'm seeing that 
6, 7 and 8. They came in a row. So 6 not for you, 7 round and round. If you go back, you're going to become um, indecisive about things and you won't be able to land up to your ultimate goal. And this is going to go into circles. So there's no point. Crown chakra, use your mind. So it's very important for you right now to just keep your focus on your mind. Okay, even if your heart wants you to open up to someone or something, okay, you have to control. If you know that this is not going to be right for you in the long term, which you know deep inside your intuition is telling you, it's time that you should control your mind and be in, uh, you know, uh, assertive power. Okay, when you want something, go for it. When you are confused, leave it. And then let's see what are the signs that are coming towards you. Leo, Taurus, Sagittarius. These are the signs that are coming towards you. I see the charms. So I'm definitely seeing you attracting a romantic relationship which is full of love and I'm feeling like this person will be dependent on you, very dependent on you, you know, not in a bad way. I'm also seeing this person could have Ro in their name, okay, and uh, could be Ronnie, uh, could be Ro, this could be a surname. I'm feeling like something about like you have big dreams about your marriage or about whatever it is feeling like this person is coming from a long distance okay this is very strongly that i'm seeing i'm also seeing you guys may get engaged soon someone's truth is going to come out and you'll be taking a clear decision regarding someone there's a man if you're you're a man watching this then i feel like the mustache would look good on you or if your person is then they are having it so i'm feeling like someone who's a bookworm here is fond of glasses and I'm also seeing you trust your intuition because it has a lot to tell you. There is someone that is not telling you the truth about something. Okay, someone is envious of you. Someone is actually hiding the fact that they're jealous of you. Could be a friend of yours. Could be someone with a long mustache. So it could be anyone. So be careful who you share your secrets with. Let's see from Aries to Pisces. How does your person feel about you? Aries, Aries is coming towards you with a solid, you know, commitment and should I take reversals in this? No. Taurus is actually having uh, options. So right now they're fixated on you, okay? And the Gemini person is uh, quite attached to you, feel like they've fallen in love and the Cancer, Cancer is a little on and off and we have Leo, Leo sees you as a marriage material. Then we have Virgos fallen in love, guys. And then we have Libra wants to marry you. Scorpio is obsessing. I feel like the Scorpio is envious. Sagittarius is uh, attracted, wants to see how it goes. Capricorn is thinking a lot in their mind, is not sure right now. Aquarius is, uh, I feel like the Aquarius wants a break or they are going to separate from you. Pisces, Pisces is very attracted to you as a person who you are, your personality attracts them a lot. So yeah, that is it guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell. And comment below, let me know how this um, helped and uh, that's it. Bye-bye.